Welcome back. Turning now to the escalating crisis at the nation's southern border. As the number of migrant crossings hits an all-time high, Border Patrol agents say they encountered more than 300,000 migrants in December alone. So that's the highest monthly total on record. House Speaker Mike Johnson will travel to the border this week, along with 60 other GOP lawmakers. Johnson is urging President Biden to take executive action amid the surge that we've been witnessing in real time. News Nation's Jorge Ventura joins me now from Eagle Pass. Jorge, you know, what are Republicans hoping to accomplish during this trip? Elizabeth, the big goal is going to put is can they put enough pressure on Senate Democrats to agree to a new border deal? And things are really getting dire, especially in an area here like Eagle Pass, where we have the Rio Grande River right behind me. And it's here that's becoming one of the deadliest crossing points across the southern border. So I've been interviewing local officials from the law enforcement angle, as well as the Eagle Pass Fire Department here. Um, they're averaging a drowning per day here, and they feel that that isn't being uh, talked about enough. Eagle Pass Fire are actually the ones who have to respond to the medical calls here. They actually have to recover some of the bodies uh, here. And they're saying that they just cannot keep up with not only the migrant surge, but the amount of deaths. The local cemetery here is actually starting to run out of room. I was speaking with Mara County Sheriff, who said they actually had to request a freezer trailer from the state of Texas uh, because they're just running out of room uh, where to store those bodies. Also, just the economic impact with one of the international bridge uh, closed here, um, it's impacting both the Mexican economy and the American economy. And last month, 71,000 of those migrants were actually encountered here in the Del Rio Eagle Pass area. Actually, I was uh, here on, on just one day where we witnessed over 4,000 migrants across illegally. So just from Border Patrol to the local officials, just everyone is overwhelmed and everyone is on board saying we just need help from the federal government to solve this issue. You know, that's what I was going to ask you, Jorge. You know, how do those border agents and all those for folks who are down there witnessing that, do they feel as if they're just getting ignored? Uh, do they feel as if that they will get any assistance? So, you know, I've been covering the border for the last three years and, you know, all the way from San Diego, Arizona and here in Texas. And the feeling that I always get is that these communities say we are just feeling completely uh, ignored. And right now, those are the, the top three mm -hmm. sectors. What's also interesting about those top three sectors is just that they're all being impacted in different ways. So Tucson right now um, has over 80,000 encounters, and they're, they're seeing a huge surge in migrants arriving from African countries. The Del Rio sector, where I am here in Eagle Pass, we're getting still that huge surge of Venezuelan nationals who ride on those freight trains and then arrive in Pedas Negras and cross into Eagle Pass. And I was just in the San Diego sector that saw over 34,000 migrants cross, um, and they're seeing a huge surge in the Chinese nationals. Um, so each sector is being impacted in a different way. Each community feels like um, they're, they're basically just being ignored this whole time. And when I was also speaking with the, with the fire chief with uh, Eagle Pass Fire Department, he says, hey, our fire department, we lost over half a million dollars just responding to migrant calls. You know, our, so far the city hasn't been uh, reimbursed for that. So for them, they just say, this just doesn't make any sense just to not have any help on this issue. And with Mike Johnson uh, coming tomorrow, Speaker Mike Johnson, with also 60 other GOP lawmakers, uh, you would imagine that's going to add a, more pressure on the, on the Democrat senators to agree to a border deal. Yeah, I mean, it, like, like you said, you've been covering it for years, and it's, it's right here at our border, and, and so much needs to be done. Jorge, thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.